What's up guys, Invisible Jiu Jitsu here. Following on from the last video, shin on shin guard to the old school footlock. If you haven't seen that, it's gonna be up in this corner here. Go click that, come back for the next one. Old school footlock is great, but some uh, things I don't like about it, it's hard to create some distance, really get the foot straight, really get the leg straight. Hard to generate uh, the, the power we need to break a foot. So we're gonna do shin on shin guard, and then we're gonna transition from shin on shin to anaconda guard to single leg X guard. We're gonna sweep and we're gonna finish the full up. It seems like a lot of stages, but throughout that, we've got a really nice control and we've got really nice off balancing all throughout this technique. So if he stands, same entry we had before previously, grip the gi, enter onto the shin on shin, elevate, boom, okay? And now maybe even I can't sweep him from here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, if I can, collect his leg, drop my hook, okay? So now I have a hook, a butterfly hook behind his knee, and I'm gonna whip this leg in to his hip, okay? Don't worry, we're gonna switch the angle in a second. From here, I'm gonna to start to really mess with his balance, sweep, and I'm gonna come back through into my new school footlock position. Okay, from here, we really get a good extension, okay? So I'll do one quick, and then we'll talk through it. So that's what it's gonna look like. We're going shin on shin, anaconda guard, single leg X guard, then we're sweeping, then we're changing the foot position. So let's talk through. The entry is the same as before, shin on shin, anaconda guard, okay? And now maybe I can't even sweep him. So I'm gonna check and drop the hook. He can't just step through into mount because I'm checking his knee with my left arm, all right? I'm gonna extend a little bit to give myself some space to enter the hook to the hip, okay? And now I have behind the knee, I have the hip controlled, and I stretch. Get him off balance, not too much, so that you lose the, the, the control in your hooks, but just enough to keep him off balance. And then from here, I'm gonna drop this hook to his ankle, and I'm gonna kick it opposite ways as I scissor out and upwards. I wanna lift his foot off the ground. Boom, he drops. As soon as he's dropping, this leg is gonna go from the hip into a shallow outside hook, okay? He's trying to come towards me. It's very difficult, but now this foot can come in to the hip. We don't leave it on the middle. I've talked about this in other videos. There's a danger of an esteema lock here. I always put it to the outside to the hip. The good thing now is if my legs are short, I can really stretch his leg while having a good distance. Because I don't have to wrap around his leg, it's a shorter path. I can get a much better stretch. Okay, and from here, I'm gonna go high hand, fall on my shoulder, look over my bottom shoulder, and extend the hips. Okay, one more time. Let's do the other side so we can see what's going on with the hooks. Okay, same entrance. One, two, check. There's my anaconda guard. Okay, I drop. One, two. Okay, sometimes if he's very close, come very close, yes. As I drop this, you're not flexible enough to put this hook in. It's okay, I give him a little bit of a push with my shin and then the hook comes in. As soon as I get him to here, he's quite comfortable, quite balanced. So I immediately want to start playing with his balance. Ooh. <laughs> now I drop this hook to his uh, Achilles, and I'm gonna kick up and out as I kick back with that hook. He's gonna fall, okay? And then we check, enter into the footlock, and finish, okay? So, it's a really good footlock if we struggle to sweep him from the anaconda guard, or if we sweep him from the anaconda guard, but then we struggle to finish the old school foot position, okay? Because I'm not having to wrap his leg, we get much more stretch on his leg so that we can really isolate that ankle, okay, for the straight foot lock. Another reason I like it, we can stand up really well. I've got a separate video of this. It's either been posted or it's coming. Why I like this foot lock compared to the old school, for three reasons. I can really stretch him out, good for short people, really good to stand up from, 
and it's impossible to reap as long as we fall to the correct side because there's no inside, uh, sorry, no outside in the reaping of the lay. Okay, so if you like the video, like the video, share it with all your friends. Tell me what footlocks you like. Do you like the old school? Do you like the new school? Okay, thanks to Wukash. We'll see you again, guys.